that it's expensive. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Smell that? Oh, yeah. Was it you? All right, so let's do that. Let's do that oh. right on camera, bro. Welcome back to Predatory Fins. Today is feeding day. It's not a lot of food, but we have to feed the fish that we just moved. We just can't feed too much. I'm starting to do it like Kevin, you notice that? <laughs> I gotta stop that, because that's his thing. Today we gotta feed, it's just not too much. I just wanna make sure there's no aggression in that tank because all the fish are together. But I just wanna show you, we started getting this tank set up. This is gonna be uh, for the rare stingrays that we have left. And this is gonna be the filtration, we have to start working on it. Then we're gonna work on this big dude. I think this one here, we're building a new frame to bring it up. It looks so much better when it's up tall, you know? Yeah. But this is the beast that's up and running. So these guys are a little hungry, but we have a good variety of fish. We can see them coming up. We got a good variety of fish already. I just wanna make sure that every single one of them are eating, including that planiceps back there. And then we have the vatatas fish the tiger fish right there those guys definitely gotta get some food on them including this dude because this is probably the beast right here we don't want him attacking any fish in the middle of the night because you never know what goes on in the middle of the night all right you ready for this look at that oh he's waiting uh there's a little hole right there and boom oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Gotta be quicker than That's that. That's a lot more coming for this. Oh. All right, so before we feed these fish, we gotta feed that little fish over there. Here you go, Bob. <laughs> Zen Aqua Mike, guys, he gave us a lot of help yesterday. Appreciate it, brother. No you wanna problem. come and see the fish today? You can press me to shrink that. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. thing. All right, ready? Ooh. Marijuana. Tomatoes. Damn, I love these tomatoes, dude. Uh oh. Shrimp is stuck on top. Baby Arapaima growing up. Oh, Momo Biasa got one. Some messes again. <laughs> Oscar. Come on, Arapaima, let's go. Oh, that was the Fogo that got that one. Ooh, dude, you saw that? He took a bite and left. All right, let's see who's gonna go next. Ooh, look at that Tement. Dude, that thing's a beast, bro. Did him again? <laughs> We came back. Oh, the Traida is there. The wolf fish. Better get out of the way. Ooh. Damn. Tam's already got like five or six pieces. There one. Look, this guy's like just waiting for it. Come on, dude. It was on your face. <laughs> He's a little slow. I know. What, are you blind? Oh, Jardini got Jardini. one. Jerry, Jerry got one. Final arrow. There okay. you go. I need him to eat, bro. I don't want him to start eating the fish <laughs> Messes again. Ooh, the Fogo Whoa. got that one. Look at the red on that fish, dude. You heard him open up when he... You know those little Fogos that we have that? That's what it is, right there. It's crazy I how know. those guys change. How they look so look much the, better, yeah. right? I think, bro. Huh? Little Tam, boom. We need that yellow guard to eat, and we also need the planiceps to eat. So I might have to put like extra food at once, and hopefully, we go down to the bottom and they'll eat. At the same time, we can't overfeed because this tank is just nearly cycled. Look at that, dude. Five steps, 20 steps right here, right here. Boom, he got Boom. it, he got it. All right, as long as he's eating, I'm happy. Arapaima, yellow gar. Yep. Come on, go for it, go for it, go for it. He's trying to figure out a way to get it. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna lose it there, Pima, bro. <laughs> I don't see any more pieces. No, right here. There's a couple oh, more. Right. The Punaceps is gonna get it. Come on, the guard, 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 guard. Whoa. Oh. There's one more right there. Oh, the ghost catfish might get it. Nope. The guard? Come on, buddy. Is he worried about the camera you think? Nope. Nope. Oh! There you go. There you go, bud. You're gonna oh, lose that. Gonna you better that. put it in. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He's like, let me swim off of you before they take it from me. Oh, Jerry was trying to get the one on top. Tamansis. Tamansis. 
Pima. See, when it comes to like monster fish like that, you gotta keep them well fed. Otherwise, they're gonna start going at each other. Which one's your favorite, Mike? I would say I love those peacock bass. I love those patterns. On the, the yellow fins. ones. Those are the spider kale berries. Super yellow. I'm so bad with peacock bass. There's so many out there. I can't tell the difference between them. I mean, there's a good variety here. Like I was saying yesterday, this is not really all our grow outs. But I, I, my favorite is always going to be the Arapaimas. I think after the Arapaimas, Peru sharks. But one that I think it looks very neat is this guy right here. Just because he's so long and thin, you know? Yeah, he'll, that firewood cat almost looks like a Lima shovel nose with a tiger shovel nose. Uh, shovel yeah, nose mixed pattern, up. You know? Yep. So by an arrow. Ooh. It's like, don't mind if I do. Them, right? <laughs> this guy, I don't think he got any yet. I saw him eat before oh, on the bottom. Some. Yeah, off the floor. He was, ooh, too slow there. Yo, Dim Son, come here real quick. All right, wolf fish eating, bro. These Timenses, bro, they're like an eating machine. Which one is your favorite? In this thing? In this thing, uh, so far. Uh, oh, I know, it's the gar. It's the gold the gar. yellow gar, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, he likes beauty. I like beast. That's why we match. Beauty, Beauty and, and the beast. beast. But um, that guy was eating. I haven't seen a tiger fish eat yet, though. Everybody else is. They're kind of skittish, so. The planticeps ate some already. The Arapaimas ate some. As long as everyone gets a little bit, I think we should stop just because we don't want the ammonia to get out of the Yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, that catfish hasn't got any yet. The planticeps already got. So let's go ahead, take the rest of the shrimp and feed the Peroon sharks because that. We haven't fed them yet. Can you do me a favor? Can you turn the light on? Yeah. The back one? Thank you. So you gotta be nice, bro. Gotta be nice, you know? So please thank you every day of your life. Can you do me a solid? I'll give you a solid one. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> we were thinking about putting these guys in the 3000, but the problem with Peru sharks, when they get spooked, they Go for it. So the problem is they're gonna get themselves banged up. At least in a fiberglass tank, when they hit, it bounces a little bit. So it gives, you know, a bit so they're not really messing themselves up too hard. But ideally, we have to either put 12,000 back together or the monster tank for these guys to move out of here. So we're gonna leave them here for a little bit until we can actually build something bigger for them. But these are the only freshwater fish that kind of looks like a shark. They just don't have any teeth. Mm -hmm. I've been raising them for, I don't know, I lost a finger there. I've been raising them since they were like five inches, and then two of them I got from Buddy Victor in uh, Naples, Florida. They're pretty cool, like, cause like, they can get to like five, six feet long. Like, I remember Animal Kingdom one time had one, they named it Bruce, it's a beast, dude. But it wasn't in a huge tank, and it didn't look like it was gonna make it, and I think he eventually ended up dying. But these guys are awesome, man. I want to do an experiment one day, have like a drop of blood in the tank and see how long it takes for them to react to it. Once they smell food, they change their demeanor. Well, yeah. they, they don't bite fish, they swallow them whole. They're not like a shark, they'll take chunks out and stuff, they just swallow everything whole. Yeah. Sometimes when we're working, we'll just be talking and they just boom, yeah. Yeah. And they just yeah. in the fiberglass. All yep. day here, you hear that. Like I wouldn't be hand feeding a shark. Yeah, I would say they're taking it right from your hand. Yeah. It's funny because I just felt it, they have like a little sandpaper. Kind of just like a catfish. You know, all the catfish pretty much are the same. Red tails are the same thing. They have that so they can grab it to prey and it doesn't move out of their mouth. Last one. Come on, dude. You didn't worry about me, so let's try that. Everyone's happy. That little dude, bro, he put on some size. I think when we got him in here, he was about like 12, 13 inches. Look at him now. Perfect fins. Looking good. These guys are probably gonna be like the star of the show once we have the big tank set up. Together with some other monsters, you know? <laughs> Let's feed Sheila. They do swim really cool. Yeah. And looking at them from the top too, it's different. Like when you see them from the side, and you see like the fin and everything, it looks like a shark. Oh yeah. It's been a whole different experience seeing these, these fish, fish in the big tank. From the tub there, yeah. 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 Today we're gonna move these guys. Yeah, I, I don't want to feed them because we gotta move them. I'm just gonna feed Sheila. But man, it's a weird smell in here. You smell that? Oh, oh yeah. Was it you? At least not that bad. We're by the door. 
Yeah, I don't see any dead fish, so I don't know what that smell was. I took a big whiff Ooh. too. As soon as I opened that lid, I was like warm and steamy. <laughs> as bad as Tank's uh, little accident. Oh, yesterday, yeah. and this guy right here, um, I think a buddy of mine, Body Collins, the long hook dog. And uh, I caught the other one. I like the tail, the fins, and the color of that guy. We caught this one in Melbourne, Florida. But they're beautiful. And these guys get big too. They get huge. And that's a short body alligator rod right there. Come on, Shiva. Get a shirt, baby. Uh, that ain't good, buddy. Well. I want to because we don't want to leave her with the stingrays. All right, so let's do that. Let's do that right on camera, bro. Moving more fish. Let me get Sheila out. All right. Lift it up a little bit. Up more. Got it? Yep. Yeah, she looks very fat and healthy. I get the lip. Come on, Sheila. Dude, gotta have a grip. Holy crap. Gotta have a grip. Mike, can you grab me that step ladder? Right here, right here. Oh, right here. You got one right here. Sorry. Hold on, Sheila. This is your, your day. She loves actually interacting with people. So she's hey, probably going to be very Sheila. happy here. There you go, Sheila. Sheila. Your new home. Whoa. Ready, girl? One, two, three. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's hope she's gonna behave in there. Yeah, she was just chilling, didn't even mind that she was being picked up. Well, she, her her neck had a little bit of power trying to get out, but. Oh, really? Yeah. But now she can eat all the bananas she wants. She got space to swim around. And if you're wondering where Fella is, we had to get rid of Fella. Um, we didn't just toss him anywhere. We found him a good home, and he went through uh, a breeding project. He's going to a breeding project. Look at Bella trying to eat the shrimp that she can't find. <laughs> so, I couldn't get rid of Sheila because she's my baby. But Fella went to a big home and a much better place. I didn't want to leave him in there, especially after we lost Arapaima. You know, we had a friend end up buying him. And now we um, have Sheila. But in the future, once we have the exhibit set up, I'm sure we'll find another fella. We got to find more fellas. All Oof. the fellas. Dude, that was a... Uh, I thought she was going to come off at one point. But look, she looks pretty happy in there. She was flapping. I remember when I had a 12,000 gallon and I used to get in, she would always come up, we'll dance. And you could tell, like, look at the white on her shell. She's really healthy for her age. It's good to see them here. It's good to see this tank. Look look at it from around here. So you can have a nice little idea. This is just one tank. So imagine when the whole shop is done like that. But another thing too, we don't even have the whole shop done, right? This is just started. We only had that side done and the electric bill was already 2000 So if you guys want to see <laughs> us stay here uh, for a lot longer, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to help Sim right here. I have a question. When do you plan on giving Sheila uh, a manicure? Because we did spend a lot of money getting this tank buffed out and she can really scratch it out. I would like to see- Are you allowed to do that? Why not? You can clip it now. I would like oh, to I see you do it one day. I'll do it. Yeah. I think it'll I mean, make a good video. Boys should do it. We'll have the girls do it. <laughs> Some waterproof nail polish. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, spa day. <laughs> but look at her; she looks good in there. Yeah. I told them about Fella, how we had to let Fella go to a better home instead of just sitting in the tub. Same thing we did with saltwater fish. We found him a better home. What are the chances of us finding another Fella once we're set up? I think when we're ready and we're back to like hunting down animals. You know, not, not hunting down and sourcing animals. <laughs> that was a little. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we can. We have the enough, the right contacts to find almost whatever we fella. want. Yeah. All right, and now they're coming in with paperwork too, so that's great. Yeah, yeah. Now I did hear you talk Chinese yesterday, and there was some words that I understood. No. Yes. No. I understood Gold Baron Monday. Okay. Am I lying? Did I say, I probably said, I on your gold barrel Monday, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's why you understood. But I'm getting, I'm picking the stuff. Is there more stuff in there that we don't know about that's going to be a surprise for them? There probably is. 
I was it was late at night. Okay. I don't remember, but there's a couple of things. Yeah. There. This is how it happens. We have suppliers all over the world. Once they find something cool, they call. Whether they're the middle of the night, middle of the morning, right? Doesn't matter. Night. Yep, and then he calls me, he's like, yo, look at this, and we go crazy. Because it's an emergency. With the rare stuff, it's make the decision right now. You hesitate, it's you gone. You snooze, you lose. That's it. I That's mean, it. so we're lucky enough to even get a chance to be offered it, you know what I mean? And if we just hesitate, that's it. Oh, can you call me back in the morning? <laughs> That's it. A lot of this is financed by my OnlyFans account, by the way. So if you guys want to help out, don't forget to uh, subscribe, right? Yeah, to yours. Really to your channel, I, I don't have one yet. I mean, first hand. <laughs> you heard that? Hey, hey, I got nothing to say to that. But enough talking. We got to set up a couple more things because we're flying to Ohio next week. Why you always lying? Bro. So, come on. Let's get started. All right, let's go. Back to work. See you guys next time.